Howdy, y'all. Today we will be building this modular synth module prototyping case for my workbench. This is a thumbnail. Now you might be thinking, Lowry, you already made a video about modular modular synth cases. But I'm thinking, fuck you. This time I'm sharing the schematic for the power supply that I used and also the Gerber files for the PCB that I designed myself. So you can order these yourself if you want to. Wow. Cool beans. Beans. The circuit is designed by Moritz Klein and it's from his video about the power supply. And I'll link the video in the description below. You should go and watch it if you want to learn how the circuit actually works. So thank you Mr. Klein for the circuit and for letting me share the Gerbers. You rock dude. I'll try and find the old Gerber files for these um, bus boards as well. These are simple bus boards for 3 pin Molex connectors that I use with my modules. But of course you can use any connector for the modules. So for example you could wire it up to a regular Euro rack ribbon cable bus board or whatever. So here is the schematic for the power supply. It's a pretty straightforward power supply for plus and minus 12 volts. So yes, you can use this for Euro rack cases as well. I designed the PCB from Klein circuit using KiCad and ordered a bunch of them from JLC PCB. KiCad is a good free software you can use for PCB design and it's surprisingly easy after you learn the basics. I mean, I don't understand any of this, but I was able to design a board that actually works. So you can do it too, dude. PCBs are really nice if you want to build some circuits multiple times, because they are way easier and simpler to build and you don't have to be glued to a schematic the whole time. And you can order really small batches of your PCBs from Chinese PCB manufacturers like JLC and PCBWay. You just need to upload or send the Gerber files to the manufacturer and the, they just print your boards. Easy. And then let's build the actual case. I'm doing this quickly and don't really care what it looks like in the end. Because it's meant for prototyping and it's gonna be on my workbench that looks like this. I'm just using some leftover wood from other builds. And for the back I used some thin MDF. And then the rails are just planks of wood as well.
I also added this sort of a leg to the front of the case so it'll stand angled. This way the modules will hold in place without screws. And then lastly, I decided to draw pinouts of some common chips to the top of the case, because I never remember these. And I will probably add more as I go. Yay! Well, there you go! Check it out! In the front panel, I decided to include two banana two quarter inch jack adapters, a switch for the power, and then banana jack outputs for plus and minus 12 volts and ground. So I can take the power out to, for example, breadboards when I'm building stuff. Well, that's cool. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, I want to make more synth content this year and design more PCBs so I can share the Gerber files and you can order your own shit. And I also have already built a bunch of acoustic and stringed instruments so there should be a bunch of things coming out in the near future. So goodbye.